welcome children today i would like to tell you what a word wheel tell us what does a word tell us words do tell us so many things words are obtained from the combination of letters we know it we have seen it the mere combination of letters cannot be called as a word a good combination of letters can be called as a, a word and it gives good meaning right let us see uh, how this word wheel work out okay we have seen up to now how letters help us to form words and this word wheel even much more useful to to go get into the uh, grammar areas to get into the uh, language uh, inflections okay so word is the basic uh, basic uh, uh, instrument basic device that help us to make sentences sentences help us to make paragraphs and we speak many things we write many things okay so word is basic device for the language okay we know that and let us see how these uh, words okay help us to understand uh, different things relate around it look at the word word is a word tell us we learn now through this word wheel there are a few things that relate to a word that go round a word we must know them what are they first one synonym synonym the word which we come across in our way of learning tells us about its synonym synonym means its other meaning its meaning okay right this is first one. what is the synonym of word go you can see here the synonym of go is move okay right second word what is the second word that Uh, a word tell us what is the second thing important thing that a word tell us is antonym antonym what do you mean by antonym antonym is a, an opposite word every word says it's a antonym opposite may be may not be okay but most of the words have antonyms right so synonym the first one antonym the second one okay opposite meaning antonym means opposite meaning right what is what is the opposite meaning for this word go come okay go and come or antonymous each other right let us see the third what is the third one the important thing that the word tell us is script 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 of a word okay what is a script tell us tells us about spelling pronunciation the script tells us about spelling and pronunciation most crucial part of english most crucial part of english right so let us see 
script the spelling or pronunciation of a go see go this is called script okay spelling g o go but pronunciation go okay the script g o o go like that okay so it is very important this is very crucial for our language improvement because spelling and pronunciation most students do some mistakes so this area is very crucial for every student who learns english right what is the fourth word what is the fourth thing what is the fourth thing that we are going to learn about is fourth one parts of speech parts of speech we know that there are so many parts of speech that help us to okay improve our speech that help us to speak okay without these parts of speech a uh, language cannot be uh, cannot be meaningful cannot be made so these all parts of speech how many parts of speech we have we have all together eight parts of speech eight parts of speech ye and the are not at all given any place in parts of speech they are also very important for the making of english language ye yan di ye yan are indefinite articles the is a definite article okay but these are not at all take, given any place in parts of speech because they are taken as adjectives adjectives are also already okay given place in parts of speech so this ye yan di are given given okay uh, no parts of speech but are taken as adjective so they are separate they are they are given separate entity they are given separate place in english language okay right now what is the what are the parts of speech what is the parts of speech for these words go is a verb i told you already move action can well there is other other word which confuses is can okay script on side i show you for these words so that you will understand okay right go i i already wrote go script can can it is verb it is a noun it is verb go okay sight sight same 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 pronunciation but there are three words what are they nouns to verb one sight means place sight means scenery sight means say about say about sighted about like that okay so two nouns one verb right watch you can see here watch 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 is one way verb other way is noun okay so this way pronunciation of each and every word uh, we will get to know okay once we know the sounds and pronunciation the next chapter okay so parts of speech here i have given you clarity for the words written on the board go well can well can noun milkman brings 
milk in a can right sight noun verb watch noun verb watch means the instrument we use okay to to look uh, to see the time of the day okay right so the word tells us about its parts of speech this is most important thing that the word tells us okay what is that next one fifth one the fifth one that a word tell us is usage 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 is most important usage is the way how we use a word in a sentence usage is a way how we use a word in a sentence so all these words whatever we have come across that they have usage uh, in a sentence they are used in a sentence then only the purpose of learning english okay uh, is made useful okay right we go to temple we go to temple go is used in a sentence okay so this way usage is very important for every word that we uh, have come across in our way of learning right so usage is the fifth important thing that a word tell us now the last one sixth one i can say is confused words it is something strange to hear actually a word okay gives us a lot of confidence okay because it tells many things all around okay related to it we came across up to now but this word uh, shows that a word really gives us a lot of confusion because there are few words that have same pronunciation same spelling that you different meaning so people uh, okay confuse when they use them so we must know that words that often confuses so a word confuses by other word okay this is also very crucial uh, okay once we have the knowledge of Uh, often confused words definitely we uh, we never do any mistake okay we use the right word at a right place okay so confused words are three in types what are they homonyms heteronyms homophones homonyms heteronyms homophones so here you can see here uh, some of them can well i can speak english milkman carrying milk in his can okay right. sight this is also another word which confuses with its meaning c a t e s i g h t s i t e s i t e is place sight means scenery c a t e is a, a verb which is said about okay try like that so this way often confused words really confuse children okay there are so many other things uh, that relate uh, a word that can be learned through word wheel is many are there many are there number person gender okay also be explained uh, through a word a word tells us about this how many numbers are there we have two numbers singular number plural number in english how many persons are there we have three persons first person second person third person how many genders are there we have four genders what are they feminine gender masculine gender common gender neutral gender so this way a word once you learn thoroughly that will never give you any difficulty of learning english right i hope this explanation will give you a lot of understanding about 
what your word is and what are the other things that uh, relate to your word okay is clearly understood okay thank you thank you very much and we will meet on friday with new topic